All right, Pisces dealing with Leo. What's the angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. The ones who are dealing with a Leo. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So Pisces dealing with Leo. Can we get four cards, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know or Leo to know? Keep in mind these messages can be vice versa. So take what is yours, leave the rest. All right, single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how I roll. So we have ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. All right, so somebody here may be listening to their friends or, you know, uh, siblings, whoever. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. So someone here may be spending a lot of time in the bed, you know, or talking to friends, getting advice from friends. Someone here may need to speak to somebody who's not emotionally invested into a situation because sometimes that could, you know, be better advice. People will always tell you what they think is best for you when they're not the ones that have to live that situation out. So... Um, all right, so we have stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness, all right? So someone here may be like stalking, checking in on somebody, um, texting. I'm also getting here, someone may be texting a lot of people about like their personal life or just talking to a lot of people about like telling a lot of people their business or something and spirit is saying just fucking stop okay one more please for pisces dealing with a leo so we have damn stop talking what was i saying shut your mouth and listen <laughs> holy shit fuck them they broke your heart fuck them all right so Wow. And if you think someone is lying, they are. Wow. Okay. Shit. Okay. Let's keep going. Pisces dealing with a Leo. Keep in mind those messages can be vice versa. So flip flop, flip flop them according to your situations. Now we're going to move to the hidden truth oracle. What does Pisces want to say to Leo? What does Leo want to say to Pisces? But maybe they haven't said. All right. <laughs> Four messages. Yeah. Someone here is talking too fucking much. All right. And the other person may be sleeping too damn much. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. Four cards, please. Pisces dealing with Leo. Four cards. Finding out the truth crushed me. You came closer than anyone. I am starting to understand our connection. Pisces dealing with Aries also got that card. Could be dealing with someone who has strong fire placements. Aries, Leo. All right, let's see. Or maybe you do. Maybe you have Aries in your chart. All right, so couldn't let you get close to me, and I hide behind material things. So somebody here couldn't let you get close to them, but they're saying you came closer than anyone. How the fuck does that? Okay. Yeah. Anyways. All right, so maybe this person was already involved. They couldn't let you get close to them, but... All right, so let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for Pisces dealing with Leo. First card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Second card will be for Leo's overall energy, the ones who are dealing with a Pisces. All right. So we're going to do three more shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, so Pisces dealing with Leo, please. 
First card out is for Pisces overall energy. Pisces overall energy, please. The one's dealing with a Leo. Keep in mind that this reading is just for September 12th through the 18th, okay? September 12th through the 18th. Pisces dealing with Leo. Also, the roles can be reversed. Pisces, I'll read you on this side. Leo on this side. However, flip the roles according to your situation. If it doesn't resonate at all. It's just not your story this time, okay? So, Pisces overall energy, please. Single jumping card. Pisces dealing with Leo. Six of Cups. Okay, so you may be missing someone from your past. You may be feeling nostalgic. You may be thinking... Reminiscing about the past, thinking about when times were good, okay? Um, or this is Leo. Take the side you're on. So let's see. Let me put this sage out. Oh my gosh. like not wanting to go out you set fire to my purpose and I'll let it burn <laughs> okay all right so let's see yeah Pisces so uh children or childhood revisiting old dreams and plans embracing your inner child the return of people and romances from your past and romanticizing how things used to be all right so you could be missing someone from your past. You may just be like thinking about the past. Um, you may also be like embracing your own inner child. Okay. Finding your child, like your, your playful side as well. You may be also spending time with your children. Okay. Let's see. Show me Leo's overall energy. Show me Leo. The ones that are dealing with a Pisces. So we have the dreamer. Hmm. I'm going to, okay. So this is Piscean energy. Um, a new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take that leap of faith. There is a spirit guide in the background here guiding this person through the doorway to have some type of fresh new start. Um, so this Leo may be thinking, dreaming. Um, there's a lot of energy here of like nostalgia, like what do you call it? Daydreaming, even dreaming at night, whatever. Daydreaming, night dreaming. I don't know. But there's a lot of like dreamy energy here. Thinking about the past, maybe wanting some type of fresh new start, feeling nostalgia. This could be both of you guys. So show me Pisces emotions, please. What's going on with Pisces emotions? The one's Dylan. What a Leo. What was that? The Emperor. Damn. So I feel like you're taking charge of your emotions here with that Emperor wanting to show itself again. Aries energies. Whoever I'm speaking to may have strong Aries, Pisces in their chart or Leo, Pisces, Aries. I don't know. Okay, show me Pisces emotions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three of Cups and Six of Wands. All right, so Pisces, in your emotions, you have the Three of Cups. So you may be feeling celebrated. You may be hanging out with friends, getting together with siblings, friends. This could even talk about like a reconciliation. News worth celebrating joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancies, and graduations. A time of gratitude, close communities, and chosen families. So you may be hanging out with people who share like-minded uh, dreams or, you know. There's a lot of emotions here on your side, a lot of water energy. So, um, and with the six of cups, three of cups, uh, you know, that's nine cups. So I feel like you are in a very happy state of mind. You are having some type of wish fulfillment. You are getting, you know, what you want in a situation. I do see a lot of happiness here surrounding you, children, feeling, feeling like in a very childlike, um, childlike wonder, childlike energy, you know, There's also an angel in the background here, like bringing, bringing something into balance with that Archangel Michael in the background. This may be like bringing your emotions into balance, bringing you into a more balanced, happy state as well. So Leo and their emotions, they get the six of wands. 
Um, victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So this person may be thinking about, you know, taking a leap of faith, going into something new, having a fresh new start, having some type of success and victory. Um, even start, you know, starting something new, a new job, a new, uh, I don't know why I'm getting a new job. Something that brings in, yeah, and then we got justice on the bottom of the world card. There's definitely some type of success, some balanced success here. This is beautiful, okay? Hmm. All right, show me Leo's next move. This person may also be dreaming about like, you know, or just wanting to have a new start, going towards something that brings them a lot of attention. Maybe they're thinking about doing something online, starting something new online, a new business, uh, taking courses, seminars, or classes online, something that'll bring in some type of success or public recognition in their life. They're thinking about trying something new, starting something new, going after something new, something that possibly they've been thinking about or getting nudges from spirit, dream, dreams, you know, daydreaming, dreams at night, whatever about. Okay, so show me, show me Pisces next move, please. Show me Pisces next move. What is Pisces next move, please? One's dealing with a Leo. Queen of Wands. Brilliant. All right. So taking action, Pisces. Your next move. You're moving forward very confidently. Okay. The Queen of Wands is someone who's brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance in career and personal life. So you may be trying to balance out your career, you know, with your personal life. But again, I feel like you are in this very confident, fiery, feisty, bold, like energy going after your dreams, going after what it is that you're passionate about. A small black pet or a cat may be significant to some of you. Um, either way, the Qu Queen of Wands is someone who's very attractive, someone who gets a lot of attention without even trying. Um... And this is your next move. So I feel like you are going after your dreams and your passions and your aspirations. And you're doing so with your head held high. Go you, Pisces. Show me Leo's next move, please. Show me Leo's next move. The ones dealing with a Pisces. Show me Leo's next move, please. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, this person's next move, they may be thinking about making some type of a romantic or even an emotional gesture coming in with some type of an, um, <laughs> some type of message wanting to express their emotions, even possibly an apology, um, sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. So this person may be coming in thinking about like expressing their emotions, but again, it may be very um, subtle is what I'm hearing subtle or like um, this may be something I'm like testing the waters here with all the water. It's like somebody here may be wanting to just reach out and send a message like, hey, I miss you. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. Or hey, uh, I don't know. Hey, I'm whatever. Somebody here wants to like reach out and send a message. Um, they could be a little bit sensitive. All right. A um, little bit moody. This may have to do something regarding, you know, their emotions or love. But I feel like somebody here may want to send some type of a message regarding their emotions. But it may be kind of small or just, you know, like testing the water type energy. Show me Pisces intentions. Four of Cups shooting out. Okay, so Pisces, you may be, your intentions, you may be not like really interested in love. You may be more like focused on your growth, your stability, your home, your, your you know, things that have the potential to grow with the Empress here. Failing to recognize the magical opportunity. Missing the point, distractions of daily life, discontentment and boredom, loss in your own world, wake up. So, hmm. I feel like you, you, 
you may have a few options here because there's a man sitting here under a tree looking at three cups, but he's like, he's not really interested in any of them, but there's an angel standing right behind him trying to offer him a cup, him, her, whatever. Um, but he's not seeing it. She's not seeing it. You're not seeing it, whatever. Someone here is not seeing that there's an opportunity being presented to them. They're like kind of ignoring it. They're not really happy with the options that they have in their life with these three cups. So you may be surrounded with like people who you look at as like friends or you may be, you know, because this three cups up here can talk about friends or, you know, celebrating, hanging out, maybe even with your siblings with the six of cups. So you may be missing an opportunity. Because I feel like you're not like you may be feeling bored and discontent when it comes to your love life. You may also be missing somebody with the six of cups. Like your focus may be somewhere else. Queen of Wands. It's like your attention is somewhere else. Show me Leo's intentions, please. Show me Leo's intentions here. Show me Leo's intentions. The one's dealing with the Pisces. So, really? King of Swords reversed? That's some fucked up intentions. All right. Um, and the light just went on. All right. So King of Swords in the reverse is someone who's like not in tune with their emotions. Um, this can also be somebody who who's a liar, who's manipulative or dishonest or um, intelligent. I'm going to read it not right. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice. Maybe this person receives some bad advice. OK, um. Remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking, communicate clearly. Unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. So I definitely feel like this person may be like either angry, pissed off, but their intentions, this is their intentions. This person may just not be communicating. Like they're not very in tune with their emotions. They may be like, this person may also be focused on having some type of a new start that brings success, public recognition, and they're not communicating at this time or they're not going to. But their next move is the Page of Cups. So it's like. This person may like reach out and apologize or express some type of an emotion and then go ghost, like stop communicating. And it may be out of manipulation, y'all. Because their intentions is like, I'm going to apologize, but then I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to talk to them. So it's like, are you doing this to manipulate somebody? Or are you doing this to like, like to add a little fuel on the fire or whatever? And then, and then, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Okay, show me the outcome here. Eight of Wands. So there is going to be some type of quick, rapid action or messages coming in, messages going out. Show me the outcome. Give me four more cards, please, Spirit. Outcome. Four Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here is going to decide to hold back in a situation. Pisces, this could even be you with this Four Cups as your intentions. You may be planning on rejecting this person or ignoring this person because this person it doesn't make you happy. Four Cups talks about boredom and discontent, you know? So it's like, you may be planning on like, you may like be intentionally not seeing this cup. That's like, if somebody here is trying to offer you like a small cup, it's like, it's a page of cups. I don't want that page of cups. You either come at me with the king of cups or don't come at all, you know, or come at me with something bigger, better. Um, I'm the queen of wands. I know who the fuck I am. You know, I'm confident. I'm bold. I am, you know, whatever. I'm all, that in a bag of beans okay so i feel like you're like failing to recognize this this cup being handed to you it's like this is a small a page of cups is a small offer so you're like no that's not good enough so you're just like ignoring it that's your intentions to ignore it i feel like you see right through this person pisces you're the high priestess okay 
you are very intuitive. Most of you are, if you guys are in tune with, you know, you know, your higher self. Four of Pentacles. Someone is definitely going to end up holding back. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give and receive money, time and emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white and being charitable. Oh shit, you got the King of Wands coming out. We have a counterpart out here, y'all. This could be a soulmate of yours. This could also be just a very passionate connection, more about the passion. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be. The King to the Queen of Wands is like two people who are very attracted to, to one another. Two people who are very passionate about each other. Um, yeah, but someone here may be walking away. With the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're... You're spending a lot of time focused on investing, planting good seeds, seeds well planter, planted, efforts and investments that will be rewarded, uh, rewarded in the near future, and the need for patience, time for resting, planning for the future, and unnecessary worry. So I feel like you're taking your time, you're planting seeds, you're watching them grow. All right, I do feel like you're being very cautious with how you spend or, you know, uh, give your time, your energy, your emotions to other people, places, and things. You may also be trying to save money at this time and, and plan on building, planting good seeds, seeds that will last for the life, for, for the future. Three of Wands also talks about, you know, planning for the future. Eight of Cups, you may be walking away from this King of Wands, this Leo, possibly, or at least emotionally. You may, someone here, or this person may be walking away from you, I don't know. I see it more so you, but uh, the need to move on, seeking more from what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities and leaving home. So some of you guys may be like thinking about leaving, you know, a home or leaving wherever you are, uh, going on some type of a spiritual journey, spiritual quest, trying to seek out more from life than what you're getting from this situation, because a page of cups isn't really what you want. You, okay, yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This may be a very strong soul tie. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, amb ambitious, taking a leadership role, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the bigger picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. So you may be dealing, or, you know, I don't know. In the outcome here, there's some type of action being taken. Um, I've never really been drawn to the theatrical part of this card, but somebody may be like, what do you call it? Dramatic. I don't want to say dramatic, but like theatrical, like very over the top or somebody who like puts on a show. <laughs> I don't even want to say that. It's like somebody who could be very like, like almost dramatic. I'm not saying drama, but like dramatic like they overplay a situation or something somebody who's very like passionate about whatever it is that they speak about talk about or whatever action they do they make it like known you know um hmm. three of wands opportunity ships coming in aries leo sag someone may have fire in their moon with that big moon in the background aries leo sag moon sign planning for the long term abundance from past choices Pride in success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what is next. So somebody here is planning for the long term, planning for the future. There is ships coming in. There's action being taken. But there's also somebody walking away from something and choosing to, like, conserve their energy, their time, their emotions. Pisces over here on your side, I see more like earth energy and water energy. So you may have earth or water in your chart or you're just somebody who even fire. Um but I feel like you're more so being wise about how you give your time, your energy, your emotions. You may be hanging out with friends, being celebrated. You may be feeling a little bit nostalgic, missing the past or missing, you know, um, I just heard innocence. In the center of the outcome, we have this eight of cups, so... 
The Eight of Cups also talks about walking away from Eight Cups in search of Nine Cups. Nine Cups is Piscean energy. It's like walking away in, in search for your wish fulfillment. Someone may be taking action to like walk away from something or someone in order to find wish fulfillment. Take action, all right? Going toward, looking towards the future, looking towards new opportunities. Leo does have this new start up here. But this King of Swords in the reverse is their intentions is kind of like alarming to me. It's like they want to express a little bit of emotions and then they like withdraw and stop communicating. So what is what is their intentions? The King of Swords in the reverse can be to manipulate, right? This could be somebody who's very childish emotionally. When it comes to like expressing their emotions, they're the page of cups, you know, they're not very good at expressing their emotions. Pisces, I feel like you're taking action here. You may be deciding to reject this because it's just not enough for you. And you're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on your garden. You're focused on your harvest here, planting good seeds, plant, planting for the future. You may be saving as well, saving or just conserving your time, energy, your emotions, and walking away from something emotionally, taking action towards something here for your future. You know? All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Let's see. Let's get three cards from the Romance Angels, please, Spirit. What else do you want to tell Pisces about this reading? If this reading resonates, please let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. What else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading? Keep in mind, guys, this is just only for the next week. So um, energy is always subject subject to shift. All right, chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. With the king to the king, with the queen to the king of wands, I feel like masculine or feminine, I feel like there's a very high, like there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion between the two of you. So, And again, retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. That's what I see you doing, Pisces. Uh, your focus, and then also I just noticed there's two fours right here. So you're for, you're more focused on your stability, your growth, and forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. So somebody here may be deciding to release and heal from whatever past, whatever happened in their past, or even in their childhood, and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If this reading resonates, please let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.